baby sister of the family. I was a spoiled one. My mom wouldn't let me go to school by myself. She always had somebody to take me. She was protected over me. And my sister was protected over me too. If anybody could do anything, she would get after them. And we had fun as we were kids. My nephew can tell you that. We used to play ball in the house when it was raining. <laughs> we were supposed to play ball in the house, but we didn't pay attention to our parents. We just played ball anyway. And my nephew acted like a mug, got crazy, and hit the light, broke the light. We all had to scatter. <laughs> my, dad was, my dad was coming after us. We all had to run. And then we, my brother and my sister, my youngest brother, who used to always fight. They like milkshakes. <laughs> and they always fought over who was going to get the first milkshake. <laughs> so there were, my brother was sitting on a chair, and my mom always told us, don't lean back on the chair. You're going to fall. You're going to fall. Of course, you know us, kids, we don't like listening to our parents. No. <laughs> so we just do, oh, we don't know what you're talking about. We're going to do it anyway. So my brother was leaning back on the chair, and my sister said, that's my milkshake. No, that's mine. That's mine. <laughs> My brother was leaning back, didn't he fall? And right hit my sister, when he hit my sister's arm, the milkshake went all over him, and my sister goes, there's your milkshake now. <laughs> <laughs> my dad, my sister was a good person, man. She loved, like they said, she loved everybody. No matter what color you were, no matter what your heart was, she loved you. She'd do it. She would take the shirt off of her back for you. She'd take care of you. If you needed a place to stay, she would take you in, no matter if she was allowed or not, she would do it. Because she took me in when I was homeless with mom. Me and my daughter, Patty, she took us in with, with my grandkids. She didn't want to see us on the street. And she even took me and my daughter, Debbie, in when we had nowhere to go. So she was a good hearted person. And I'm going to miss her. She's a part of my heart. It broke my heart when, she, when I had to come down the state. Goodbye to her. I, I couldn't do it. I was crying the whole way. I was shaking. She's my world. She's like my grandkids, a part of my heart. If something happened to my grandkids, that's my heart. I love my grandkids like she loved her grandkids. And we both got pregnant together at the same time. And my mom was fussy over me. And my sister, she kept getting bigger and bigger, and she was working at Burger King. <laughs> <laughs> and so my, she told my mom that she was pregnant, so my mom had to fix their pants for her to wear, because she was working at Burger King. She was getting big. And for some reason, my mom knew. She just looked at me and said, are you pregnant too? And I know my mom was protected over me, and I didn't know whether to say yes or no or say anything, so I just went, I just shook my head yes. I was gonna say, oh no, you know, my mom, like I told you, my mom was protected over me. I couldn't go to the corner store or nothing by myself. The baby's the only one. Yeah, she made people take me to school. I, I, I felt embarrassed. Here I am in junior high, and somebody's waiting outside for me. <laughs> I couldn't go to school by myself. The only, re the only way she left me go to junior high, my nephew started there. Then she trusted me. <laughs> she's bigger and he would rat me out. <laughs> he wouldn't let me get away with it. So I'm going to miss her. She was my heart.